on here because if you comment a lot or if you type live in the comments, you should get my bot to respond to you for our live notifications. Then just make sure you respond live to the message the bot sends you. Hi. I haven't got my uh, box form all together, so I'll show you how I'm going to put on the um, the top row of pipe cleaners here. I had to go to an 18 inch ring because um, my sign is so large. Now I don't found out I don't have my staple gun because my son has it and he's in California right now. So we may glue some uh, cable tie holders on. But, so tonight we're going to make, I've got all my stuff kind of everywhere. Tonight we're going to make this sign. That's going to be our sign and it's pretty good size. So it's going to really take this whole ring up. Anyway, this is going to take our whole ring up. That's why I went to the 18 inch box form rather than a 15 inch work form. So we're just making this, I have lots of these forms, so we're just going to make them tonight. Or use one of those tonight. And then I just cut these. So I'll show you what we're using for our ribbon tails. We are going to use these trees with this red and green dot. And believe it or not, tonight I picked it all out by myself. So this is the tree ribbon. And then we're going to use this Merry Christmas ribbon with this green with red dot. And we'll do that. We'll put that in every tie and alternate the different two. And then we'll be using red foil mesh Try and see if you can see it. And we'll be doing 12 inch puffs. And then we'll be doing 20 inch green, uh, emerald green foil ruffles in every other tie. And then, ah, stuck to me, green and white curls in every other tie. So, more of a Laura style wreath. I don't usually do this big of wreath and this many, but I had the sign and I loved it. So, we're going to do that. And then down in this magic box, we have three of these trees, or three of these trees, three of these little trucks. These were the only trucks I could find this year at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to turn my back camera on now. I, I, I conferred with my, my designer, Laura. On an 18-inch box form, you want to put on your pipe cleaners five inches apart. It'll give you ten on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or eleven. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Somehow I came out with eleven, Laura. I'm not going to work. That's not going to work because I didn't cut enough stuff. So we are going to kindly remove, maybe, if I can figure out how I did this. We're going to remove one of these pipe cleaners, and that's all I'm doing, guys. I'm not doing anything that's exciting. If I can figure out how I put it up. You know what? It's just easier to do this. Okay. Then we're going to kind of, I'm going to guess that maybe these should be more like six inches apart, but. I'm going to scoot these apart so that these are more closer together. Yeah, that'll be good enough, I guess. And then we're going to put some on the top. Because I want to put them on this top, this upper ring. And what I do is, I don't know if you all can see this or not, I just go around two rings at one time and fold my pipe cleaner over so that the ends are meeting. And I want it to come up on this second from the bottom ring. So I'm just going to put it in there. And I'm going to put eight of them up here on the top. And then we're going to put our poofs on. One, 
put one here. I'm kind of winging it now, guys, because I had one too many. I was trying to do it during Marvelous Live while I was moderating, so I wasn't paying close enough attention to how many of these I had. This one more down here. That, I had little man down here with us laying and having a good time. We were eat, eat, eating apples and bananas. So. That's what we were doing. So as I said, how's everybody this evening? Hi, Melody. Hi, Denise. Sue, did you... Yes, could if everybody, since I saw Sue say that, if everybody could like and share my video, I would appreciate it. Also, I don't know how close she is to being able to get it, but maybe Laura will show you the link to my YouTube. I am approximately 480 people away from having a thousand viewers and I would like to get to a thousand that's my next goal so if you could uh, like my YouTube or subscribe to my YouTube I'd really appreciate it the first goal is at a hundred and I reached that and now I'm working towards 1000 so if you can help me out with that I really would appreciate it and share the video to your friends and family and if you could ask them to subscribe to my YouTube I'd appreciate that too yes and begging for subscribers. But hey, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. So anyway, on a better day we would probably be more logical about this and measure these out. But tonight we're just gonna wing it. And like I said, the first step we're gonna do after we get these on is we are going to um, do 12 inch poofs on both the top and the bottom because we have we have now made this more like a form from say Sims Pottery or Carolina Pottery with 10 on the bottom and 8 on the top. It doesn't, it's not a raised form but 12 inch poofs will help with each roller. And we're going to move my tea glass because we don't want me to send it flying. And I'm sorry I haven't been live for a while. We've had some issues come up. And I have started a new group. I have a paid monthly group. It's called Owls Tech Talk. And what I do in that group is I will help you um, out with getting your social media set up and how to optimize them so they're best for your business and to get the most out of them. This one I don't need. So I have over here, I'll show you, I have my homemade roller that Michael made me. I had that before Susie came out with her ultimate, but she has a beautiful ultimate roller um, on her site, Susie's Reads and Things. And if Laura would like, she can give you her affiliate link to that site. And you can go over there and purchase one. And they are excellent and they help you out a lot. So I don't want to hurt Michael's feelings, so I'm not going to. I have to use his. So to get started, we're just going to gather up our mesh, making sure the outsides stay out. And I'm going to take it, and it's I'm going to cut this tail off, so we're going to put it through our, and I'm using a short roll here because I want to use this one up. Okay. We're going to lay it through here, and I just lost what I had. And then I have a zip tie. I'm going to put that around the ring right before the tie on the bottom ring. And I'm going to zip tie that down so that it will hold our mesh for us. Maybe. If my hands will cooperate. Cold weather is not good on my, my hands and things, guys. But that's all right. So I can do it. It just takes me a little bit longer and it's, I do it just a little bit different. Now we're going to get this started, and over here I have my magic grippers. 
I use these to hold my zip ties because I can't grip them. And I'm just going to pull that just as tight as I can. And I want to slip it towards the inside there so it won't be out smacking people's doors and things. And I'm just going to clip it off right to the knob. And I'm going to take these scissors and I'm going to trim this tail. And it's cut like that because from the last time I did poofs. I'll just throw that portion away. And because I do have the, the issue with uh, chronic purple tunnel, I, I'm going to do the new thing that, that they were talking about. And I'm not going to pull it with my hand because my hand doesn't like to do that. I'm going to put it on where I want it attached. And then it will go down to a seat to the 5, that would be 12, and then I'm just going to take and making sure the edges stay out because your poof won't poof right, I'm just going to gather it up in my hand at the 5, and then I'm just going to go to my next tie, place it down in there, and twist it off one good time. And this is red foil mesh, 21 inch. And I'm assuming that I probably got it at Joanne's last season. You just want to make sure that's tied off good. And then you can poof out your poofs. Let's see if I can do this. I'm not a big poofer. I just kind of do poofs once in a while. So, so we're going to take that. Down here to our five. Push this Thank you so much, Bev. I appreciate the share. I don't know how long this one roll will last. That's why I have another roll over here on my roller so that we can just start again. Because you can, I don't want to start a different roll if I can use this one up. Because I have a lot of like partial rolls. And then you just kind of want to make sure they're poofed out. This is kind of a, a basic mesh, so it is thinner. So, um, but once we get everything on it, it's not going to matter. You can use your basic mesh for your poofs and your curls, actually. I like to use a thicker mesh if I'm going to do ruffles or so forth. But basic mesh works. For everything else, I think. I feel. And it's a little cheaper, so. Now I'm getting these turned too much to the inside, so I'm going to go back here. Make sure these edges stay on the out. Never had trouble with that before. I've had trouble with them folding under, but never trouble with them folding over. That's a new thing for me. And I'm about ready to pack up my Christmas. I've got about, I think I have three wreaths left that I need to do. I've got a show on the 13th, and I've sold some of my Christmas off, so I wanted to get I'll be making this one with the truck. I have one set up that's a candy cane theme, and then I want to make one with a uh, green fern, fern ring, which I do not like to use the um, mesh on it. I like to leave it in the fern. So I'm going to move these. I'm kind of getting these all over, so we're going to throw them back here. But anyway. So up oh, this, we're only going to get about two more poofs out of this, and then we're going to start again. So, hey Mike, yeah. could you get me a couple more zip ties, please? Ones? No, just zip ties, oh, okay. not tight cleaners. Just need a couple of zip ties. They don't even have to be the little ones. Because anytime you start and stop, you should zip tie your mesh to make sure that it folds, and that will keep it from coming loose on. Thank you. But anyway, I want to make at least three more Christmas wreaths, and then we are going to be packing up Christmas and getting ready for spring. 
I don't know that I will do a New Year's themed wreath because if you don't sell them, you're kind of stuck. So, um, I probably won't do any of those, those unless I have a custom request. And then after I get these three done, during which also I have uh, four custom wreaths to make. So, I have three of them are burlap and then one is uh, the premium mesh foil, which will be like the sunflower from Unique in the Creek. And it's it will be in a gold. It's for 50th anniversary, so I want to get those done and get them mailed out. Well, the, the burlap ones need to be because they're Christmas presents, so that would be kind of rude if I didn't get them done. So I'll probably be starting those next week along with the others, but I probably won't do them on lives because right now, besides I, I, we meet once a week in Al's Tech Talk, and um, it's, and I Zoom call, and, and then I can go in and help you, and I Zoom call. I do one-on-one -on -one also. And um, then also my partner, who is moderating for me tonight, Laura, from Laura Jean's Wreath Rooms, she has her own design group now. That's a paid for monthly group. Put your link in there, honey. And we are live in there, and I go in and I get good design device advice. And I also then kind of watch her comments and help her with her tech because we're partners. So I'm getting scrunched on time, but I still plan on being live publicly on Monday nights at 6.30 as long as I can. But I am going to start offering moderating services for people, and then the price will depend on what kind of moderating services you want. Do you just want me to be there and help you answer comments, say hello, answer questions to the best of my ability, or make notes of questions, or, you know, how detailed do you want it to be? So, since this is done, we're going to zip tie this on. I just put my zip tie around and I pull it as tight as I can. Ouch trying not to grab my finger the next time and trying not to zip tie in the um, pipe cleaner so we'll pull that out that one bright on my end was it and then I'm going to actually open this back up because What we are going to do is get our new roll down here and get it in our mesh roller. Pull it under. And I'm going to gather it up. Hi, Hi Willamine. It is great. We're doing good. We're a little cold here, but we're trying to get rid of the ice around here. Hopefully it'll get warmer. It's supposed to get warmer by the weekend, I hope. Now I'm going to put this one right on top of that one by this tie. And then I'll tie it. But first I want to put my zip tie around it. Maybe. I don't drop it. This is another one that I had done a poop with, so it's going to have a, a wild tail and we'll just cut it off. We'll just trim it up. Um, and so anyway, my, my time is getting kind of crunched. And also, I do, for the tech talk, I will do, I do training. I have it on paper, and I will get it filmed eventually. So I do have a lot of the paper training done. I just have to do the filming portion and get it out. But the girls and I, we can have a good time. We find some pretty wild things that happen over there on the social medias, and we try to work them all out. So it's $14.99 a month, and if you'd like to join us, we'd love to have you. And Laura's group meets a couple of times a week, where she'll, she does a Q&A, and she does some, some designing, and shows you how she her techniques and how she does it. And her group is $15, or $15 a month. And we'd love to have you there also. 
So either one of us, you can go through either, uh, the links she put in, or you can go to Laura Jean's Free Throw, or Al's Tech Talk. Or Creative Reason Flowers. If you hit the Learn More at the top of either of Laura Jean's Wreath Rooms or Creative Reason Flowers, you will get to those groups. And you do pay through PayPal. It will ask you to make a PayPal account. So. Alright, now that we've got our next roll started. Going to continue with our 12 inch poops. I am going to kind of pull this with my hand. It is? I wonder why that is, Mari. Marge, sorry. My iPad has some small print. Hi, Deborah. How are you tonight? I guess the best way to talk about how to pull a poop is to grab the, the surged edges and then pull it out. I, I, I heard that tonight from Lori and Unique in the Creek, and I thought, oh, what a good way to explain it. All right. Sorry guys, this ribbon is driving me insane. I'm going to sit it over here for now. So is everybody getting ready for the holidays? I, I don't put a tree up because I have a very small space. And uh, I will hopefully, they, they do have one set up upstairs. We haven't got it. I don't know if they've gotten it decorated yet or not. And I normally go over and put my son up a tree over in his house. However, this year I'm I'm just not feeling it, and he's not home until the weekend, so we'll see what he says then. Because I don't really think they care. You know, three bachelors living in a house, and they all they do is work and play on the computer, so I don't know that they care if there's any Christmas up, so I'll see what he says when he came home. We did go over and do the outside of his house, though. Got him a, up a Christmas wreath, and... Um, changed out his flower box, so at least I did that. So hopefully, you know, that's enough festivity for him, because I don't know, I'm just, I'm getting old and just don't feel like dragging myself out over there. It's only about five miles away, but it's cold and well, we didn't go out today, and I may not go out tomorrow because it, there's a lot of black ice out there because it keeps, it hasn't gotten up over 32 since the storm hit. So, and I'm not very coordinated anyway. So if anybody's going to fall down and go boom and be crazy, it's going to be me. But I always do try to make it look really professional. I try to point my toes and smile as I go down and put my hands out really pretty. That way I get good ratings. When, um, when people rate me on my faults. We've always done that around. We did that when we lived in Iceland, too. You, you know, when people go out to the bus stop, you watch them. If they fell, you'd laugh, and then you'd hold a number up in the window so that they would know what you rated them. Kind of like Olympic diving. We just called it ice diving. It was kind of fun. Gave us something to do. All right. Now we're around the um, bottom of the ring. So we're going to transfer. I don't like to cut, so we're going to just transfer up to the top. And to do that, what I'm going to do is just grab a piece, grab this. I'm going to pull it on my mesh roll a little, a little bit. Ooh. And we're going to, I'm going to pull it a little bit to the left because there's a tie right here. So, I'm going to pull it a little to the left of that tie, and guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to zip tie it. And, you know, I think I'm going to have to get him to get me one more zip tie. But he took his headphones off, so we'll be okay. 
And Joanne, if you're on here, I still have not convinced Michael to go on camera yet to show you how to wrap those canes. I am so sorry. I'm trying, but he is just not into it yet. I just can't get him to sit here by me. And maybe if I get my room changed, because we're going to probably get rid of a chair and just have the couch, then he'll have to sit by me. And then maybe, just maybe, I'm going to have this tie. Um, I can get him on camera then. But so far, the answer is no. So, and he is the cane wrapper. He is the expert. So, make sure I pull that good and tight. And now we're going to go around the top. If everybody could remember to like and share, I would appreciate it. Also, if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'm sure Laura would be nice enough to give you that link again. Because she's the best. And if you need my links, Laura, tell me. Message me or something and I can send them to you. I didn't think to do that today. Sorry. I got kind of flustered. I was trying to get my live ready to go while trying to get Marla's live moderated. Yeah, I was, I was trying to multitask. I'm not a good multitasker. If you type live or alerts, well, yeah, live alerts or live alert in the comments, you should get a message from our bot. When you do receive that message, just remember you have to go in there and put live, respond live to that message, because otherwise it won't finish the process, and then you'll get a message from me going, please respond live. And that will get you on our live alerts. And I send, I try to remember to send a blast out before every live I go on. And I'm trying to figure out if we can send them yet for when we go, um, when we go live on YouTube also, because I'd like to go back over to YouTube since I'm trying to get the subscribers. And I'd like to go over and do some lives on YouTube again. I do have all of my videos replay there, and I do have some just recorded tutorials on there. So, you never know what you might find. And, as I mentioned, my partner, Laura, has her design group now, LJ's Loft. LJ's Designer's Loft, excuse me. So, if you want to become a loftette, that's great. And, we are, she is starting a new thing on Etsy. I would say we. I include her in all my stuff, and so I just say we every time I say something. But she has downloaded a digital tutorial on Etsy that is for sale of how to make one of her Christmas trees. I believe she has a brand, a new different fold from anybody else I've seen. And it makes the most beautiful full Christmas tree. So if you want to hop over to her Etsy shop, she can post her link. And you can go over there. And I don't know how much it is. She can tell us. But, hi Tammy, she can go over there, you can go over there and purchase that tutorial and make her tree. Just remember, any time from anybody that you purchase a tutorial, you cannot share them live or share them with other people, okay? So, that's a new thing she's doing as she figures out ways and finds really cool things. She's going to start doing, oops digital um, digital tutorials. Oh, it will be coming out very soon. I'm sorry. I thought it was already there. Forgive me, Laura. Just trying to get them out and get them over there for you. It'll be a couple of days, I guess, but we will become, she will be coming out with that um, digital tutorial for the Christmas tree in her own style fold. So, go over there and check it out. It's a beautiful tree. It's a beautiful tree, guys. You won't believe how beautiful it is until you see it. <laughs> so that'll be out on her Etsy shop in a couple of days. She also has all of her uh, designs on her Etsy shop that are absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and full. She makes very big full wreaths. Mine are usually smaller and not as large. This is more one like I would call Laura's because this is going to be a poof, ruffle, and roll. 
but instead of being on a work form or a raised form, it is on a box ring because of the size of the sign. And you can check out, I do a lot of unique in the creek freeze on the boards, and uh, I, I personally love to do them. So you can check all of those out. I'm going to be expanding right now. I have roses and um, trees. I have sunflowers, poinsettias, and roses. And then I have a couple of the Christmas trees. The one I did in Deco Soul. But I have the one with burlap and the one with uh, garland. And actually, Michael made the one with garland. And those are on my Etsy shop. And Laura can share that link with you. And if you want to go over there and check those out, that would be fantastic. And if you would like one, don't sit on the fence because on the 13th, I mean, anything that's not sold is going to the show with me. And I'm hoping that it will all sell. So it may not be there when you go to get it. So you'll want to hop on that right away. Why is it that my son only wants to communicate with me when I'm live or trying to film something? I just have no idea, guys. He sent me a picture of a blue Corvette so I can show his dad. He's out in California right now in Sunnyvale, enjoying the heat while we're sitting here buried in the snow. But he does have to come home Saturday. Ha ha. Okay, we've got. What we got? We got a few more here to do. Yeah, I, I couldn't wait to tell him. Oh, hon, guess what? We're getting a big winter storm. <laughs> and I got to text him back and tell him, Hey, guess what? We got seven and a half inches. That's the biggest snow we've had in. Gosh, quite some time, I think. I know, I think it's about three or four years ago we had one on Christmas, either Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Maybe it was Christmas Day. That was quite large because we were laughing because Michael's from Boston, so all of his family is out by Boston still. And we were sitting here trying to dig ourselves out, and they were up there in shorts and t-shirts because in Boston it was 70 degrees. I'm like, well, you just wait a couple days because I'm making sure I send it all to you. Send me pictures of you outside in your short sleeves and your shorts. And I'll fool you. I'll send you snow. But we usually don't get big snowfalls, maybe two to three inches. Seven and a half is quite a bit. We haven't had a big snowfall like that for a while. And like I said, what's really playing havoc, though, is that it rained before. So and because it's cold, everything froze afterwards. So. And I'm going to poof these as I go around and put the other things in there, guys, because I keep forgetting to poof by now. Like I said, I don't make a lot of poof wreaths. I don't do this often. I don't make the big wreaths. I've almost used up the second one, too. That's good. I won't have any left over to have to store. When I store, I do store them in... Um, Umbrella bags. So it's, it's one of the best ways to store them so that they don't um, have them on a rack and so that they don't get together and um, fray out. I, I discovered that through Deco Exchange. Bought the bags. And sometimes, if you're lucky, you can get one or two from Walmart when it's raining because they'll put the bags out front. And I bought mine through Deco Exchange, and I do have a Deco Exchange link, and I will put my associate links back up on my page. I have an affiliate link for Amazon. I have affiliate links, and then I have a Deco Exchange link, and I have a link to Lori Riley's Success Path, whom I'm a member of. She's my business coach and mentor. And then I have links on there for Laura's group, her beautiful design group, and for my tech talk. So I have lots of links hanging around. Michael. Michael. So, and I need one more zip tie. Yeah, either I knocked the one off I had or I didn't have enough and didn't count right. So we're back to the beginning. So we're going to zip tie this off and cut it and get it through. Oh, I bet it is, Jean. You know, we spent a, a winter in uh, Panama City Beach. 
and uh, we didn't have any snow. That that was the first time I've had a winter without cold or snow, but it was way, it was way too windy, or not windy, humid, humid. I've never run an air conditioner in January, so it kind of freaked me out a little bit. Uh, we had to run the air conditioner though, because if not, all the clothes in our closet were wet. So that was different. I live in Omaha, Nebraska. Well, just south of there. I live by, Mike, can you move this? I live by off at Air Force Base. So Omaha didn't get as much snow as we did. Um, but off it got set, I'm, I'm a mile from off it, um, just down the road. And we got seven and a half inches, I said on the news. That's where I'm getting my totals from. I don't go out there and like measure it because I, I really don't care. As long as it's not in my path where I walk, I'm good. And I don't play in it anymore. Although it would have been fun to take Ryder out and either build a snowman or see if he could use the... Uh, Michael, can I have another zip tie, please? That one broke. Let's see if he could shovel my drive. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Gail. Maybe we'll get them off a lot of these days here. Okay, I'm going to show... When I... Here in a minute, I'll move it back and show you the poofs that we got. I've got to hold it here so I can get the zip tie on. That last one broke on me. I'm using my the ones I got for Unique in the Creek, so they're only 18 pounds strength. And believe it or not, sometimes my weak little arms can actually break them. Kind of different, but it kind of surprises me every time it happens. So. I have noticed that a bunch of these. Oh, I'm sorry. You know. That's why I can't wait to move this. I was thinking that it was just because I had it pulled towards me. I'm so sorry. Um, I accidentally, the, the thing is kind of jimmy rigged. It's uh, on a back scratcher hanging on a, a shelf. And um, <laughs> so it's my own unique setup because I don't have it on a tripod. And that's, we were trying to figure out how to do it for the best back angle. That's why I said I want to rearrange the furniture because that's a small spot and I would like to get it set up so it's better. And you just have to work with these um, hoops right here where you put it together so your hoops will cover. And as we get more stuff on here and get it filled up, it'll be fine. So anyway, here is our, our, our hoops, 12 inches with 21 inch mesh. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, in every other tie, I have cut 25 inch emerald green mesh. I'm going to make ruffles. And I'm going to use the convenient holder of the cable remote to help keep it down. And you just get your fingers right in the middle and you lock it up. What I like about using the foil mesh is I can follow the line so I don't get off center. So my uh, Ruffles don't get all cockeyed because I can make cockeyed ruffles, and you, you can just walk them back with your fingers and stuff, but just easier if you've got that line there in the center. And mine are a little different because of my grip, but and we're just going to start here on the bottom. I'm going to put this green ruffle in here, and I, I'm not going to open the tie. I'm just going to take the tie and tie it around it. I used a full pipe cleaner. Some people use a half, but I used a full because I don't like to open my ties. Because with my grip, I tend to let things fly away. So then I'm redoing it, double doing. You know, I don't like to take them double do. So we're just going to spread that ruffle out nice and neat. We're going to miss this ruffle, and we're going to go to this one. And once again, in case you're new watching me and you don't know, I do have... Oh, thank you, Kathy. I do have a very small table. It's a two by four, and that's where I do all my work. We have a very small, an 11 by 17 room that we live in. Well, that's our living room and craft room and man cave. And then we have our bedroom, which is full of reason flowers because that's where I store them. So you'll see me moving things around quite a bit. I don't have the luxury of the large areas like some of the people do. But someday I'm going to, I am. I'm going to have a whole room that's just mine. And I have a mistake here. So we're going to do it again. Mike has a whole room that's just his. Will. And we're all going to be happy. Because right now I'm sharing my craft room with him. Which used to be his fish room. 
and he finally just put a tank back in here. We had 25 tanks in this room when we lived upstairs. I have a split level. My daughter and her husband and my grandson live upstairs, which is kind of amazing that you don't hear Raider tonight. He, I don't know. He must be eating or, or something because he's not even doing his cardio. Usually he's jumping all over the floor. So that's pretty, pretty neat. So I have this room, and then I have half of the garage for my storage of my reason and, and supplies. So that's why we're getting ready to box up all of our Christmas and get it out there and get into our spring and Easter, Valentine's, and uh, St. Patrick's Day. We kind of have to rotate things around. I wish I had a room that I could just leave it out all year long, but I don't. And if you ever have phrase, you can always just snip it off. That was kind of bothering me, so I thought I would snip. So when you cut your mesh, you're going to need to cut nine of the 25-inch rolls or pieces, for, or 20, I guess it is, pieces for your uh, ruffles, and then nine white and nine emerald greens and 10 by 10s for your curls because my curls are going to be 10 by 10. And I've already done those and curled them because it takes me a while. So, and I used half a pipe cleaner to put them together in their bundles. And there's just one green and one right, white in each bundle. Thank you, Patsy. I like this mesh. I think this mesh came from Joanne. Don't, don't quote me on that, but I went there the other day. Last year, they had a beautiful turquoise, and I really want to make a peacock ring. So I really wanted the turquoise from the Markers Holiday Selection they had last year. Well, I went over there when they brought their holiday selection out, and there's, they only have a six-inch turquoise. I was, like, heartbroken because I kind of wanted a 21-inch and 10-inch, and I don't see it online either. So, and I just skipped one too many. So, I, I ordered some from Craft Outlet, so we'll see. How that. Oh, I think that. Do you ever do that when you get these pipe cleaners going and then you can't figure out which way you twisted them? There we go. And grab this really careful. I missed one too many pipe cleaners. There are eight, yes, 18. 10 on the bottom and uh, eight on the top. That's how I set them up. And I was a little, I was trying to put them five inches apart, but that made me have 11. So I kind of just rearranged them a little bit because um, I like, you like to stay with even numbers. So 10 and 8 work as well. That's how I, um, that's how I cut everything. So I, you know, because I do every other ties along the bottom and then every other ties across the top. And all my ribbons are cut in uh, nines and so forth. So, so we'll have, um, Five pieces of the green on the bottom in ruffles, and then five pieces of the green on the top in ruffles. Thank you, Gail. This is more, I don't normally do traditional red greens for, for uh, Christmas. I am a blue silver girl, but um, I don't know who's trying to come on my web advertisement. And you're watching my OBS screen, I see. But, well, maybe you're not. Yeah, you probably are. No, I guess not. Anyway, I'm watching it. But, yeah, I, I don't normally do blue and silvers. I love blue and silvers for uh, Christmas. But I had, I love the red truck stuff. And then I had the little, I found the little trucks finally. Not the ones I wanted, but I found some. And then I found the sign. And then I found the trees, so I thought, oh, look, red, green, and white. 
hear Mr. Ryder starting to get going up there. So we're doing the traditional red, green, and red, green, and white tonight. Making sure I have gotten those right. Hi, Olive. How are you tonight, honey? Thank you, Bethel. I haven't seen you for a while where we've actually got to say hello. Glad you could join us. Our, our last uh, craft show will be the 13th, which is a week from Thursday, which I thought was a strange night. It's um, at a school for a PTA. Uh, my son-in-law's cousin's kids are in that school, so she invited me to go, so I'm going to go attend and take our wreaths there. And then Christmas will go into the, the vault for the year, and we will get started on our other season doesn't seem like I should, though. It seems like I should make Christmas even way through. But I've kind of decided that whatever wreath I want to make at whatever time of year it is, I'm just going to make it. Like, if it's uh, March and I want to make a Halloween wreath, I'm going to make one. Doesn't mean I have to sell it right then. It just means that that's what I want to do. I like to do a lot of spring wreaths, so I like to work with butterflies, birds, um, I have one hummingbird wreath now, but I have enough hummingbirds to make another one, and I like to make those with the uh, pastel color snowball mesh. I think it just makes a real pretty wreath, that and the butterflies on that. So I'll be getting some more of those out. And uh, I don't know what else. I, I didn't make too many uh, Easter ones last year. I was just getting started. Oh, I like a big hole. We're going to put one, we're going to start here. And I don't know if I'll do many Easter ones this year. We have one lady uh, that was down by my daughter in Kansas that gets wreaths from me all the time. So she started at the Christmas or the Easter season last year. So she might want a new one. She might use the one she had. And she just bought two more from me so, for Christmas. So I'll have to wait and see what Jenny says, if Jenny wants any or not. I think I only made a couple last year. I mean, I, well, I made more, but I, I gave some away, and I sold some, so. Dollar Tree actually has some really cute decorations you can use for Easter, and I, I made a few Dollar Tree wreaths. And that's when I was starting and I was making friendships with the management staff at the Dollar Tree. So I actually made a couple and took them there and gave them to them. Well, the one lady said that her son would like them. So. so therefore, that's what I did. I thought I was missing one, but I found it. Right. Well, it'll go in the ties that are in between the ruffles. Yeah, I'm not going to go in actually in between the ruffles. It'll go on the uh, the pipe cleaners that I missed because I'm doing this in every other pipe cleaner on the bottom and every other pipe cleaner on the top. So the rolls will go um, in those empty pipe cleaners when we're done. CC. Do you, Elaine? I. You know, I would love to have a huge table. I wouldn't know how to react if I could spread my stuff out. I might just have too much room. I might have to give it up and just sit at my little bitty table again. It's kind of like I thought this, uh, the area we live in right now was huge when we first moved in because we've been living in our RV. We, we bought a 22-foot RV and lived in it for a couple years, doing some traveling and stuff. Well, not much traveling. We were going to travel. But uh, that's when we went down and lived in Florida for the winter, too. But, uh, so I'm, when I first moved in here, I thought this was a mansion. Huh? 
and then I filled it up, so then it wasn't. But I can't even imagine going back out into the trailer because I have all of this. Well, thank you, Cece. I like ruffles. Ruffles is, uh, well, actually, my favorite style of wreath when I first started was the petal wreath. I really like doing petals. And uh, that, but they make such a, a large, large wreath that if I kept making them, I wouldn't be able to sell them because I couldn't be able to get them into a box to ship them and at an affordable rate. So I do have one outside that's from last year that's my uh, large snowflake. I call it Big Snowflake. I tend to name my wreaths I keep. And it made it through last season, so I hung it out this season and I. I think it may not be on there right now because it blew off during the storm. I'm going to have to zip tie it or fashion it to the nail some way so that it doesn't blow away because it's brick. So there's a, a nail in it, I think, from the, other, the, per, the previous resident 25 years ago. So that's how long we've had been in this house. And, um, but I think they, they rescued my wreath and brought it into the garage, and then I just have to wait. It's kind of cold. I don't want to go out. Cold makes the body hurt when you get older. I think they call that arthritis. He's kind of a fun guy, huh? That makes me laugh when I say that, because my mother had a neighbor whose cat's name was arthritis. It was arthur i -tis. And she used because she didn't have kids or anything, so she used to sign all of her Christmas cards and birthday cards and stuff with her and the cat's names. I think they were, because my mom's name was B, so I think she had arthritis and B, and I can't remember what the other cat's name was, but it was kind of odd, too. Not anything that you would normally think that... Hi, Susie Brown, how are you? I thought I'd made a mistake there, guys. I was looking at it. Guys, Susie Brown is the inventor of the mesh, ultimate mesh roller that I had Laura give you her affiliate link to. And she has three different mesh rollers and a Christmas paper holder. Chris, is it paper? Christmas buddy? I don't remember what her, her Christmas wrap holder is, but she has um, a collapsible three-tier, a regular stand-up three-tier, and then a one-tier on her um, mesh rollers. And then she has, um, and then she has the gift bag. Is yes, you did. Is gift buddy or wrap buddy or I can't gift wrap buddy. Is that a two-tier? Or is that a three-tier? Hi, Barbara. I'm glad you did catch me live, Susie. I'm only going live on Monday nights right now. I'd like to get back over on YouTube. I'm telling you, I'm getting so, so busy. I, I'm not sure what time. And if you all hear that, that's my grandson jumping around. He's, he's doing his cardio now. He's two. Mr. Raider is. So I just made these bundles, took one roll of 10 inch, 10 by 10 white, and one roll of 10 by 10. The, the white's got, um, it's like, a, I don't want to say illuminated. Ah, it's extra long. That's, I knew it was something. Um, anyway, iridescent, that's the word I was looking for. Anyway, two of those, rolled them, and then Michael put the, um, pipe cleaner on the middle for me and I'm just going to take and everywhere we have an empty pipe cleaner on here if I can find them I am just going to take this and I could trim off this excess maybe <clears throat> I lost my wire snippers here I'm just going to trim off the excess of this wire snip, or you could use this part to put it on your, the ends of your, this, to put it on your, um, 
form, but I think I'm just going to stick it right down in the zip tie. I'm just going to take it. Because I thought, well, the sign is, is red and white with a little green, so I'll just use red, green, and white. This will give it just a little pop. I'm going to tie it down pretty good. I, I know I've got ribbon to put in there, but that one's kind of short. You just kind of got to shape them the way you want. I'm not the best at the world thing, guys. And these kind of are frayed, so I'm just going to take my snippers and snip away. These are easier on my hands. That's why I use them. I yell at Laura all the time because she has snippers and she doesn't really use them. She uses her scissors. It's whatever you like. You can always snip up afterwards, too. I forgot where I put them. Ryder was playing with these while we got them. I'm like, don't run off with those, dude. It's like trying to run away with them down here. I was like, no, no, no. You all need them. Sometimes it's easier to trim them up before you put them on as opposed to waiting until after. Some people like fray, some people don't. Yes, 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 yes. Better? Sorry. I am going to get that fixed, I promise, guys. I promise. Just, I was kind of hoping I got the room arranged before this line, but that didn't happen. I did get it cleaned up, but things happened, and I started building training, and I know not any, those are just excuses, but, hi MJ, sorry Laura, next time just message me, because see, I'm not really looking at the OBS or the, the Facebook, because I'm concentrating, and I know you find that difficult to believe, but I am. If you can see, well, you know, my brain's kind of hot because I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing, so I, it looks nice. It's going to be putting some ribbon on this, guys, so, and you know, the one thing I don't, didn't pull out, and I know Laura uses it a lot, and I'm sorry, Laura, I didn't think about it, was tubing. And I know I have the tubing, because I got it when I was down in Missouri, because believe it or not, my little bitty hometown Dollar Tree had, like, every tubing you could want during the fall season when I was down there. I was so excited, because mine never had any up here, so I guess you just have to go to a little small town, and then you can get what you want. Yeah, I'm sorry, Alicia. I What happens is, is this uh, the way I have it set up is the camera cord goes behind my back. And if I lean back just right, it uh, catches the cord and moves the camera. And then I don't realize the angle is off. So when I get everything set up again the way I want it, if we move the couch, um, I'm going to make sure that it's better in a, a more permanent state so you won't have that issue. And if we don't move it, then I will fix it for the state it's at right now. So, I just keep forgetting I do that, and I kind of, until Laura yells at me, I, I don't think about it. So. And I'm not quite as fast as everybody else at doing this either, I'm sorry guys. 
Sometimes my lives last forever. Although when you see them on YouTube, I do cut out the beginning part of it where I'm telling everybody hi and all that, so you don't have to watch all that. But I don't know how far it's going to get. I may have to. Why do we have to do me right out? Get under there. I believe that's all we need on the bottom, so we're going to go to the top and put our rolls in. You know, I was watching Marla tonight, and I like, she did, I've seen the big ones, but I had never seen the smaller ones, but she did like a baby crumple. But uh, I kind of liked it. It was like a, just like a little 10 by 10 baby crumple. I've never seen anybody make one that small. I've seen them do them with the 21 inch that were really long, but never with the little bitty 10 inch. It's kind of cool. She was on right before I was. You ought to go watch them sometime if you haven't. It's called uh, Retired and Reading. And she and her sister, John, Jana, uh, make wreaths. They're from Canada. And they're fun. And she made a really cute nutcracker wreath tonight. So if you get a chance, next time she's on, go and see them. They're nice gals. And they're not a mech. The convention and now they're friends of ours so that's pretty cool and I don't know about the rest of you but I will be attending Wreath Makers Live next what is it, next August next July I got tickets to go so Michael and I will be going down to Wreath Makers Live we're not going to get there till the 31st and we are going to leave on the 4th or whatever day it's over but it's kind of expensive so we didn't get to do any extra days this time. But we will be down there in NOLA, as they call it, having some good times with all the wreath makers again. We had a great time when we were out in Illinois and learned some stuff, so it was really cool. Make sure my camera's set. I had to make sure I had two of these. I was afraid Ryder would run off with, them, with one. Thought he'd gotten away. I'll tell you what, for being only a little over two years old, I have one of those popcorn tins that has the three popcorns in it that you get at Christmas time, you know, because Michael and I like like popcorn, and he likes the caramel and I'll eat the other stuff. And uh, right about the lid off of it tonight was eating all my popcorn. I'm like, boy, what are you doing? You're eating all the Mima's popcorn. That's not cool. So, I don't know if he finally put the lid back on or got rid of it, but we did get him back up upstairs to his mom when I went live so he wouldn't be here like being noisy because he doesn't care he likes to be he's he's a very loud little man he doesn't really talk much some things you understand but he's very loud he likes to scream he thinks that's cool in fact the other night he was laying in bed and I have a I have a nest cam there so I can keep an eye on him when, when I'm watching him and stuff and he's sleeping and he was just laying in bed screaming for the heck of it. He wasn't mad. He wasn't upset. He just wasn't tired. So he thought he'd just lay there and scream. This white, I'm not sure where I got it, but it does uh, fray pretty bad. And I did not cut this with my, pla I only usually use my plastic sealer on my flowers, so I didn't. I just cut this with my uh, zip snip. That's all right. Okay, so now we have, and I'm back this up a little bit. It's not much of a difference, but a little bit. So this is what it looks like. Before we go ahead and put our other stuff on. And like I said, now we have our ribbons. We have this ribbon it says Merry Christmas, and then this green polka dot ribbon. We're going to put those together. Hi, Dee. How are you? 
And Ribbon doesn't like me well, guys, so if you hear me muttering under my breath, you know why. Actually, Laura says it's, I just don't like Ribbon, but I personally think Ribbon just doesn't like me. And I don't make bows often, and that's because Ribbon doesn't like me. And if I do have enough tie, I am going to tie down good three times because hopefully that's the last thing we are going to do. And we're just going to pull these all out towards us. And you can yank on it. If you've got them tied down tight, you can yank on them. And you want to just kind of... Maybe it's because my fingers don't look, work good. Or maybe that's it. Maybe I don't get along well with ribbon because my fingers don't don't work well. Hey Michael. Why don't you grab my glue gun so I can plug it in? Then our other set of ribbons is gonna be this like beige tan Christmas tree and then this red with green. Which you want? Okay, that's my glue gun. So we're just going to keep doing this. Hi, Hannah. We're just going to, thank you. We're just going to keep going around to each zip tie, zip tie, goodness, each um, pipe plate, set of pipe cleaners, each tie. I'm going to let you do it. I can't see Okay, it. that's fine. Just sit down, please. Um, and, and just alternate them back and forth. One is a two and a half inch ribbon and the other one is a one and a half. I don't know why. I, that's just the way people do it. I think it looks nice. So. I think the contrast maybe helps it stand out. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Got a message made me giggle. Uh, sometimes that happens. And then people think I'm just crazy, but that's okay. Because I am. Might be why I didn't hear you, huh? So I got to think about this, guys, because I'm getting myself all confused, or as I like to say, because I'm here in Nebraska, corn fused. Don't like the way that dovetail looks. So there we are. I'm going to redo that. Sometimes when I'm doing more than one ribbon at a time, they kind of get uh, cockeyed and I don't get them cut kind of the way I want them. So. Anyway. So is everybody done with their Christmas wreaths or are people still making Christmas wreaths for the next week or so? Because the chart really says, I see that. The chart really says that you should be done. Sorry, guys that you should be done with your, your Christmas now, I think. I think it says we should already be in spring and uh, Valentine's. I haven't really looked at it. I have the one that came from uh, the Southern Charms, Rafe Julie Samakowitz has one that she printed and put out. So, Oh, and, and once again, if you would like to receive our live notices, if you just type live in the comments, and then when my bot sends you a message, if you will just type in live and respond to him, we will get you signed up, and you'll know we'll send you a notice through Messenger the next time we're ready to go live. And I'm trying to make sure, and I know, I'm trying to make sure and get it, confirmed or not confirmed if we can let you know also like when we use do YouTube because we haven't been able to do that but I'm thinking maybe we can and even put a link to the YouTube site when we're going to be live there to make it easier for you guys okay ah you're new at the game Alicia that's the way I was last year but this is how I got started in fact I, I, I found out how to make these just 
oh, a tad before Christmas. So I, all I did was make Christmas wreaths. And I ended up making 36 Christmas wreaths. I could, but then it was too far away at the time. So, yes, I'll do something more. I promise. I'll quit making you crazy. At some point I will. But I might be moving my couch to the other wall. So I don't want to mount it just yet. Anyway, I made 36 um, wreaths for Christmas, and I only gave mine away. So I had 26 wreaths hanging in my 750 square space of wall space in my house. So, either had to quit making wreaths, or I had to start selling them. So I said, well, I guess I'll try to sell them. Why not? And it's been a long, hard year, and we're kind of getting to a place where we're starting to feel just a little bit more comfortable. Starting to get a few sale, more sales, and I didn't grow as big as some of the others did quite as quick. But I, I'm good with slow and steady. And I'm from the Midwest. We're very slow and steady people. We're not very hyperactive or anything, which makes it funny because Mike is hyperactive because he's from the East Coast. So you need everything quick, 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 quick. And I'm just like, do it. It's kind of like being Speedy Gonzalez. And I can't, what was his friend's name, Michael? What was the Speedy Gonzalez's friend's name? Do you remember? Does anybody remember? You know, there was Speedy Gonzalez, and then he had that friend, the slow mouse. I can't remember what his name was. Now it's going to bug me. I'm Aunt slow Mary. Folk. I don't know if he was called Slow Folk. Slow, slow Folk Rodriguez. Oh. You have, you know, I have him lining my garage, too, but uh, that's on purpose because that's where I store them. I don't have any other place except my walls. They're all full. Um. Uh, yeah, Speedy Gonzalez, and I can't Slow remember. Rodriguez. And he says Slowpoke Rodriguez. Yeah, maybe. Never theirs? Huh? Oh, no, no. You'll never miss important stuff, Maureen, because you can always go back and watch the replay. The replays play. They stay on Facebook. So you can always go back on Facebook, or you can go over to the YouTube channel, and I do edit them a little bit. I take the beginning out so that we basically start right when I start making it. You don't have to sit there for however long it takes me to get going. And uh, you can watch it on YouTube. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm having major ribbon confusion. <laughs> I keep forgetting which ones I'm ready for. You know, before I put the top ribbons on, we might try the sign because I might not have to put all the top ribbons on because that sign's huge. I don't know. We'll see. Then I'll just have extra ribbon to help to do something with later, huh? Because I cut them all. I was kind of hoping we were done, but it looks like we still got three more for the bottom. Goodness sakes. This is taking forever. I told you I don't. Laura, I do not like ribbon. It's not like me. We have a mutual friendship of not liking each other. I used to, when I first started, I never used ribbon. I thought I didn't use ribbon until maybe, maybe a little bit of ribbon at Easter, but mostly like not until the 4th of July. I know I didn't use any at St. Patrick's Day. So there. I'm just not a ribbon girl. But I'm told I need to do the ribbon. It's not doing the ribbon. Keep hearing the song in my head. 
Merry Christmas, Merry Merry Christmas from your Kmart Christmas store. God, that's got to be an old commercial. Kmart doesn't even exist anymore. Hi, Berto. Hi, Leslie, again. Thank you. I know there's another hat. Yeah, crafting is therapy, that is for sure. Although I sometimes stress myself out when I'm on a live. If I'm just sitting here doing it, I don't stress. I might cuss, but I don't stress. I almost thought I messed up. But. All is well. I really do like this ribbon I got from Sam's, so it's pretty, pretty. See, I, I just, it's not that I hate ribbon, I just hate working with ribbon. Laura now. Tub. Tub. Oh, you know, you didn't better. Alright, so this is my sign. And the reason I went Michael, do you know where my easel is? Happen. The reason I went with the bigger ring is because oh, I'm Michael made my fluff box, Alicia. He made it out of a uh, butcher block. We have butcher block counter left over from uh, redoing our kitchen. Can you make sure that's done? Okay, because I wanted to put it on this because I just want to see. I might not put all the ribbons on the top, Laura, because this is very big, and I'm thinking that it would be a waste. Thank you, Laura taught me that. She's a very good designer. The other thing I have to do right now is I have to, uh, I forgot to get cable tie mounts. So I don't, like I said, I do not have my, uh, I must have got that at the at home store. I do not have my, uh, you still want me, you want me to put the, the ribbons on the top, don't you, Laura? Thank you, Ollie. I know what her answer is before I even ask. I don't even know why I even thought about it and asked because I know what her, I just know what she's going to say. You've got to put those ribbons on. Look, she's like, put those ribbons on. Oh, gee, Mom, do I have to? Uh-oh. Oh, no, that was me moving. I thought I just moved here, and it was in time with the lag on the laptop. I am going to pull them all towards me.
I don't think going in would be very productive. So I am going to put them all out. Sometimes I put the top ones in an X. She just wants you all to spend more time with me this evening. I know. You know how I am when I get with the room. Hey, Mike. Just give me one other favor. Would you um, hand me four of those cable timeouts? What? Would you hand me four of those cable timeouts? What, these? The no, the mounts. mounts. You know, those little white doohickeys. Good thing I got my mic to hear. Actually, it's his fault because I had rolling tables that sit here beside me, and he actually rolled them really far away from me. So now he has to get everything. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot, Laura. You calling me old? I tried really hard this time and I didn't even bug you. Aren't you proud? Hey, Vicky. You can see me trying to go back to my old ways of no ribbon and stuff, though. Oops. I tried so hard and now I think I put that one backwards. Oh, well, I'm not going to change it because Laura made me put it on there. I didn't want it. There. You know, I'm supposed to fold that under, but I don't care. Ah, uh, you're sitting out in the car, Alicia? Mercy. I am in a very good design group, Laura. I'm in the best design group, right? That would be LJ's designer's law. See what you can learn. You can learn how to be a better wreath maker. Oh. I still don't always fluff my ribbons the way she wants because I hate ribbons. Aunt Mary, are you still here? Did you know Laura's really mean to me? Aunt Mary, Laura's being mean to me, and she's calling me old. She's calling me old and a dog, come to think of it. Hi, Marla. I am sorry, man, I had to jump. I had to jump because I was, I've got the live in the comment thing going, and you know how you only have that certain time span, and then it, like, goes, uh-uh, you ain't gonna be able to go on. So I had my live thing up. I know you do, Laura. I can't give you a hard time. I heard you call me old and dog. I, I saw it. You said, see, you can't teach old dog new tricks. I heard ya. 
I heard you. I thought I'd tattle on you since Aunt Mary was here. Seemed like a good thing. Uh oh. We, we got some stuff happening here, people. Michael, quick. What? We need to do a ribbon search. You lost the ribbon. Well, that was short. I seem to have lost a red, with dot, red polka dotted one for this one and a green polka dotted for this one. Well, that will work for this one, but I need I need a red polka dotted for that one. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I got, see, I got two of these. And one of them. Well, we'll see. We'll see how many I need. I think I'm missing a red. I don't want to cut another one. You don't want to cut another one? No, because I already cut enough. You just lost it. You did. Michael lost it, guys. Nope, nope, nope. This one goes on here. We might have to cut one. So which one we gotta cut? The one red one? with the pokey dots. This one? No, the red. I don't need the green with the pokey dots. How long does it have to be? Here. Shh, we're not gonna talk because we don't want Laura to know. I know it's a say, and I'm just giving you a hard time, Laura. It's fine. You know what I'd say? I'll just take away some now and later. Scissors. Excuse me, guys. Uh, you liked me commodulating for you? Okay, thank you. Oh, no, you give me back the scissors because I got a hooked up tail set. I didn't say throw things at me. No. Thank you, Aunt Mary. I've learned a new style from Laura. She's helped me a lot. She is the ultimate designer. Yeah, I gotta say that. Would you go ask your daughter what she wants? Well, maybe put the baby to bed. It's kind of like when you go to the bathroom, that's when all your children talk to you. I go on a live and everybody has to try to contact. Oh, Lord. I was like, oh, Lordy, I can't find the one you just got. I had to dovetail it real quick, guys. Oops. You watch, as soon as this live's over, I will absolutely find that, that ribbon. So, you know, I cut it off. So, I'm thinking about getting a um, headset with a little microphone on it, you know? Like they used at uh, Scott's convention when they were on stage. So I think that would be very helpful for me. So, no, I, I didn't. I'm so sorry. Could you, could you tell me? All right, that should be the last ribbon gang. <laughs> you know what, Susie? You are right. Her source for those now and laters might dry up. She keeps being mean to me and calling me an old dog. You are so, so, so right. She was just telling me I was going to have to. <laughs> um, but yeah, I she was telling me I was gonna have to start buying them, so I was ready for uh, when I went to Reese Maker's Live because you know, apparently I didn't give her enough, and we are there an, another an extra day, right? When we go to Nola, so I guess I better get some. I'm gonna cut this rope off because I. I really don't need this ring. Oh, 
I'll save that for some other time. I really should try to take it off, hey? But now that Mike's upstairs because Melinda called and we didn't know exactly what she wanted. Um, I have to probably wait until he gets his little muscles down here. Oh, Lord. All right, so what I'm going to do is he got me some of these. Um, I don't like to, I mean, I do use these. It doesn't bother me that much, but I would rather not. <laughs> you never know. Thank you, Mark. Anyway, I'm going to put JB Weld underneath them. Laura doesn't like to use them because she says they come off. And she says the styrofoam comes off the plastic for it. Well, if that happens, then I'll just JB Weld that side. But for now, I'm going to JB Weld this one. You know what I like, Susie? Is when we're at convention and Laura's getting all slap happy and stuff and she tries to unwrap the candy twice. And the second time, she can't figure out why she can't unwrap it. It's hilarious. I'm just going to tell you now. It was funny, 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 funny. You like it when Laura's slap happy. It's almost as good as if she was drunk. I would imagine. I don't know. I've never seen her drunk. Now this is going to have to sit for a minute. That's why I went ahead and, and decided to do this. I was going to do it earlier and then I forgot. Could do it with hot glue, but my experience is, especially if it goes on my door, because my door faces south and gets sun all day long, um, anything glue will melt off. Even, if it be, it, in fact, it becomes quite hazardous to touch my screen door or the wreath board or the wreath because everything on it is like totally, totally scalding. And that's even when it was like a 20 degree day out. Well, until uh, until my son comes home and I get my staple gun, Laura, the crappy mounts are going to have to work. Thank you, Sue. Sue, did you hear me earlier ask if you got my message concerning I sent you a message earlier? Um, I think to your Sue, Mary, because a lady ended up from your, that saw you at your show yesterday and bought some angels, somehow ended up asking you to buy a third angel that's a blue angel and giving you her phone number, but it was on the review that you gave my page. So I didn't know if you saw it or not. So you, you were tired that day. So I messaged you and I messaged the number she left so that you could get with her about the Blue Angel, Sue. Okay? So I want you to miss the sale because somebody put it on my page. Sue had a, a sale yesterday, so. I know, but I don't have. Okay, good. I do not have uh, my staple gun. I got a staple gun. And the first thing that happened was Michael went to use my staple gun. Then he took it to Sean's house, and that is where my staple gun is residing. So I can't use it when I don't have it. I didn't know if it was on my page, Sue, if you would, um, if you would see it. It was kind of weird. So I wanted to make sure you saw that. So I'm going to let those dry for a little bit. And I'm going to look down in here and drag some stuff out. Because I got buried stuff in here. I had actually forgot I had all this stuff. And then I, when I was cleaning up, I actually had like three wreath kits made up for myself. I make myself little wreath kits so because of space, time, and location. So I don't really think I like I like these trees though. And look, Laura, I bought them and made sure all of them came in threes. Did you see that? 
These actually are in the Halloween edging. They're kind of plasticky and they're kind of rhymy, and I don't think I want those. I either want, and I think these are too little for this great big one. So, I think I'm going to use these trees. And then I got these little trucks. This one says Family, Faith, and Friends. And this one says There's No Place, whoops, sorry. There's No Place Like Home. There you go. Still didn't get it. And this one doesn't say anything, but this was the uh, selection. This was the only thing my Hobby Lobby had. Thank you, Aunt Mary. I Well, I kind of sort of did, but, you know, I was reading. Um, we have one of those, like, neighborhood sites or whatever. And... Um, I was reading the site, and it said the road that we go down to get to his house from our neighborhood, Schneekla, it's called Schneekla, because the Schneekla farm is on it. That Schneekla is nothing but black eyes. And I know our luck. So, I am not going to make him, I, 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 yeah. Ain't happening because he'd also probably try to take my car, and uh, that ain't happening because then he'd be putting dents in my car and not his truck. So he might drive, drive his truck, but I keep trying to tell him that uh, four wheel drives doesn't matter if it's ice. If it's on ice and you're in a four wheel drive, I'm just trying to do these little things, guys, that um, it don't matter. Four wheel drive doesn't mean nothing on ice. Maybe in snow, but not on the ice. So. I don't know if I'm going to use this stringer and end up cutting it off and using a pipe cleaner or wire. I'll use wire. Just thought I'd open these up while well, that those cable mounts. I should have stuck them on earlier. I just didn't think of think of it. You know, I bet you if I got out my mom's village, I'd have tons of these little trees, huh? That's okay. They go with her village. I have a whole assortment of nutcrackers in her little Christmas village. I got when she passed away. It's just in storage. I don't have anywhere to put it. Someday I have a big... I'll go to Laura's house and put it all out. Well, that's true. That's true, Alicia. That's true. Hey, Sandra. But, my luck, he'd take my car. You know, then that would... Okay. These are pretty firm. J I'm using J.B. Weld under there. And J.B. Weld does not... Um, take too long to dry. It's a little bit longer than the DAP Rapid. I'm going to try Laura's method of ah. No, Jan is in the air somewhere. No, you don't see tubing. I don't even know where the tubing is. Get off of it. I thought about tubing after I started. Nope, nope. Jan is in the air. Okay, Laura, what's the difference between deco mesh, deco poly mesh, and fabric mesh? And which one do you think looks better? Hmm? And I'm just putting these in through the little things, guys, and connecting them. They may fall off, but I will get my staple gun, and Sean comes home Saturday, so. I don't even know why it got taken down there. Ah! It wasn't dry yet. That's okay. We'll just let it dry some more. 
I know, I don't want to hear it. Oh, uh, I got mine from there in the restore um, Saturday. So I, I needed uh, burlap for a custom order, and then so I can make the custom raise, but I thought ah, I'd rather. I'm not that quick with burlap either. I do a pull through. I don't cut it. I do pull through. And uh, so I, I, I didn't want to attempt that one on a lot because I am not a tubing eater. I really don't really know. Thank you, Marley. I really don't know where it is right now. Thank you, Laura. Because somebody actually asked that. And it came off of my phone, so I thought I would ask you your opinion. Because you know more than I do. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to try and see how many times the sign will fall off. So, a long time ago, when I first started, I bought the easel to help me. Oh, uh, you know, if I was going to do a tree, I think I the best way to do it. I've done it in deco, I've done it in garland, and I've done it in a poly deco. I think I'd do it in the poly deco. I think that's probably the best. The deco, actual deco mesh isn't bad, but I think I'd do poly deco. Excuse me. Yeah, they did. And then Michael takes off and doesn't come back. I'm not good at putting on signs. All right, I know people say don't do this, but oh yay! Right, yes, I do. Huh? You got your double horns yeah. going. Well, they're not seeing you really. I'm gonna. I gotta lift it up. No, I know, but I'm not lifting it to your face. No, I'm not lifting it to your face. Trust me. It's backing away. All right. Can you? Uh, no, 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 no. Take this one right here. Uh -huh. Hold still. I don't want you taking it too far. And then, okay. Just you gotta put it around one of the bars. I did. Okay, now here's this one here. Okay. Uh-oh, wait. No, no. Hang on, hang on. Okay. okay. See, this. everybody should have a Michael. How's that? A Thank you. Sides? I think I got that at Sam's. I, I, I don't know. I want you to take this one in my hand, though. Okay, well, I got it started. It? Oh. It's not going on. Okay. See the one in my hand? Yep. Look down here. You can't pull them too tight because these things might come off. So. Okay. And, and then one? this one should be through there somewhere. This is a this is a two man job, you guys. Hi Sue, uh, welcome back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most of this are maybe all except this one. This this green pokey dot one, I don't think. The rest of them came from uh, Sam's Club. I saw that, but now here's my question, Joey. I thought the post office wasn't government anymore. How's that? I thought, Is that good? All the way around? I can make them tight? Just, well, a little bit more like this. It needs to go up a little bit. But I thought the post office wasn't government anywhere. How's that? Or anymore? On top. That's fine. So, um, I was surprised when they said they were going to no delivery. Which is nice, but if it's not government, that kind of didn't make sense to me. Because I know, I mean, I know there are some civil service employees left, but I know they have worked very hard to get rid of most of them or have them all retire early. So.
Hi, Lori. I liked a lot of the Sam's Ribbon. Now, I don't have a Costco membership, so I didn't go to Costco. He, he is, I tell you what, he has to earn his keep, you know. And I do pay him. Thank you, Cece. I got that at the at-home store. He has to earn his keep, Marla. I do pay him in dark chocolate raisinets, and sometimes I'll get him peanut M&Ms, or I'll get him a Snickers bar. Yeah. So he does get paid. And you can buy me some fish, too. Ah, uh, yeah. He's fish. been he's been buying a... Aquarium. Snail. Is it? I just didn't... Here you go. And it needs to be a little tighter, but I can do that. It's sliding down more than I want it to, guys. Um... I want it more up this way, but at least he got it on there, kind of. So you can pull the mesh out from below it. Maybe that'll help it for now. I'm yeah. not going to worry about it too much until I get my staple gun to put the things back on there, right? But this will help us a little bit because then we can decide where we want our other items. So. I'm going to do this tree different. This is the one that says family, friend, faith, and friends. Family, faith, and friends. I'm just going to take a piece. Oh. Actually, you know, Michael is really into, um, oh, please. Um, I'm sorry. I was commenting to my messenger. But, uh, and I forgot what I was going to say now. Thanks. I don't remember. I would have rather to had the larger trucks like Laura used, but she bought them all. And so they took them all from Nebraska and sent them all to New York. So that they could have all the little trucks with trees. And we wouldn't get any. Did you know that? Thank you, Patsy. That's why I told my friend in Wisconsin, because she, apparently, they had them at Dollar Tree, too. I said, well, you bought them all, because I didn't get any. And she's like, no, 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 really. I said, it's a joke. It's a joke. Mm -hmm. And then he went and sat down, and I probably needed more of it. That's See, we decorate these together, guys, when we're not online. He's just too, he's being too camera shy. See, Joanne, I told you. Well, you're now thinking about it. Cece, isn't your husband's office government? Ah. I'm supposed to go back there too. Yeah, thank you, Joanne. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. So, yeah, and Probably put some glue on there, but I'm gonna wire it back here. That way, if the glue comes undone, then it won't like fall to the floor. I think that's best. What do you think? And I'm just twisting my wire back here to hold that tree. Ah, I never said. Anyway, this is a Put this off. Hey, Cece, tell the lap dots Laura's busy, will ya? You can't see my sly smile. Ha <laughs> ha. 
have a little sly smile on my face when I said that. I think I need to get more green wire. I think I have some. And I always use a lot too much wire, guys, but I need to because I'm just not coordinated enough to use a little bit of wire. I'd rather be able to cut it off than to, like, struggle. I promise I'll be done in a few minutes. I promise. Oh, I don't like that. You know what? Time out. I don't like the way these, because they're little, they get sunk in. So I've got another idea. Thank you. Thank you, Marla. Thank you, Cece. You're, you're a doll. I wonder. We're going to try it, dudes. I, I, I don't like the fact that you can't see the trucks in the mesh because they're little, you know. That irritates me are cute. So I'm going to do something just a little on the outside of the box. I'm using hot glue right now. Now I might go back and use um, E6000 or I really like JB Weld. And um, so we'll go put some of that on it too. But for now, this is what we're doing. I'm just going to hot glue. I'm just going to put one there. And I'm going to put one there. Because you can't see these little trucks in the match. I hope you can. Well, I'm looking at them. They, they're really small, but this is all I could find. All I could find. In town. And that, there were, and there were only like four of them then. So guess what? I'm faking it. And this is how I'm doing it. I'm just slathering a lot of hot glue on this because this one's a little different. It's going to go right here. Because, you know, Laura says you should use things in threes. And thank you, but I do like it. But, yeah, it's just, I am doing that. I already did it. I'm doing the, what do you call it? The triangle thing. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing the triangle, and I am going to move the sign up, guys, like that. I just don't want to get too exciting with it when I don't have, um, uh, that's going to be hot. Shoot. Don't you hate when you do that? Um, yeah. I forgot I was saying again. Sorry, guys. So I was getting all worried about touching hot glue. See, I knew you'd tell me to put it up there because you wanted me to make a triangle. Now. I got them, Kathy, I got them from uh, Hobby Lobby. Everybody else was going out and getting all the cute little red trucks, you know, to make their wreaths with. And these were the only ones that my Hobby Lobby ever had that I could find. And they either, 
there was another one, and I can't remember what it said. There was one other one with one other saying on it, but I didn't like the saying. So I decided that the one truck without the saying and those two sayings were okay. I'm trying to debate. Do I want to put... Do I want to be really weird? Thank you. What do you think, Laura? Should I put, like, trees here? I know you normally put your stuff on the wreath, but this wreath kind of swallows it. Here? What are you talking about? Uh, Laura's on here talking. It's me. I'm Cheryl. You can't see me. Because I'm looking at the back. I'm trying to debate if I want to put, like, trees on here now. Like one on each side or not? I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it like that and then I'll get the sign shored up. I want the sign up here more. Like that. Let's see if you can see it. Can you see it? Oops. You saw Mike. I am so sorry. But that's okay, Robert. You can watch the um, replay. And I will be moving it over to YouTube also. So it'll be there. Probably tomorrow because for some reason the last time I did... Oh, sorry. There was a blue web. A web blue. Whatever. The last time I did one, it was... Um, like, took a really long time, so... And I see where the glue web went on a piece of... The glue web went on a piece of wire that I had laying down there. Don't you like that I use diaper boxes? That's what I use for my wreath kits, guys. They're the perfect size. And I have lots of them empty in the house, so I've been saving them for quite some time. I have a lot of things stored in there. Anyway, that's my wreath for tonight, and you saw it, and I'll show it to you again. But uh, I'm not sure about... I'll have to confer with my uh, other coach about... <laughs> I tell you what, if you get, um, go to Joann's and go to Hobby Lobby when they do their clearance sales on their stuff, you're going to, I bet you I bought at Joann's clear through February with Christmas stuff. So, thank you, Marla. I'm going to show you the wreath one more time because I can't pick it up and move it the way my cameras are set. Thanks, Cece. So here it is, guys. And I don't normally make them like this. Let me tell you, like I said, I'm going to, I will end up putting this buff up here like this storing it up better when I get my I'm not real um, sure about those ties either, the cable mount ties, so I am going to get my uh, staple gun back and staple pipe cleaners on the back there and make sure I shore that up or, or wire and make sure I shore that up real good but, and then hi Peggy thank you Teresa and like I said, if y'all could share and like this video, it would be fantastic. And if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would appreciate it. Visit Laura and my Etsy shops for all our designing creations and different things. You know, wreaths make really good uh, presents for people that are hard to buy for. And um, don't forget to check out LJ's Designer's Loft for really gorgeous wreaths techniques and how they're done and to learn really cool fun things and if you need help with your social medias um, putting your pages together and so forth make sure you come and join Owl's Tech Talk and you can find that on the Creative Reason Flowers page and Laura and I both love to have you in our groups we, we work together so thank you Kathy so um, we'd love to have you because we're both there all the time. Also, if um, probably after I do my last show, I may have a sale. Not sure yet. Depends on what we have left. But I may have enough. I may have a, a flash sale after my show on the thirteenth of December. I'm just not doing that because my luck. I know how my luck is. Everything would sell, and then I'd have nothing for the show. So I'm going to do the show on the 13th, and then I may do a, a quick flash sale one day. 
be prepared for that because you might be able to get a good bargain. Not saying you will, but you might. Because, you know, I'd like to get rid of my inventory from this year and just start fresh for next year. And next year, like I said, I'm going to have a lot of Unique in the Creek items. I really like those. I like making the flowers. I love the roses. I'm going to learn how to do their fun flower. They have a daffodil. They have... <sighs> I can't think of what else they have. A zinnia, maybe? I can't think of them. But they have a lot. And um, I do have a bunch of the uh, character faces that I have printed out. Plus, I have a bunch that I can print out. And... Um, I'm getting better at making those. We made a sippy. Marla made a sippy when we were all in. Uh, whoever's on here who went to the convention in um, Illinois, to Scott, we're the one that Scott put on. <laughs> and so we all made a sippy. And I have a Santa and a sippy actually, uh, Mod Podge, but I'm not good at the Mod Podge thing, so I don't know if I'd even, I might just give them away to some friends, because I didn't Mod Podge very good. You did! Congratulations, Laura. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Um, I actually sold two Christmas wreaths. Was there, were they Christmas? No, I sold a Christmas wreath and a spring wreath yesterday. Yeah. Which I was really kind of surprised Oh, you're going to make hats? Mike's my hat maker. He does good. He does them at the shows, and as he hangs them up, they sell. I love it. People like to watch him make them. See, Joanne, you're just going to have to move closer to me so you can go to the show and watch him, because he'll do it if you don't film him. We made a what? A Sippy the Snowman, you know, from Unique in the Creek, and we put the white um, deco mesh around it, and then a hat on it. You made one, didn't you? Ah, yeah, I made two poinsettias. Here's the thing, though, because my door sits south, that's how we learned that hot glue will melt and run off because uh, the, the ornaments all started falling off. So Mike saved them, though, and put them back up, and they dried back up, but we can't hang it in the sun. So I actually made, I, I liked my poinsettia because I made it with the uh, red foil, the premium red foil from... Uh, Hobby Lobby. It's driving me crazy, guys. Or, now I see it's it's flocked funny. My little flocked trees. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. I've had you here a couple hours. I'm sure Marla's tired. Is she just did a live right before this? Yeah, be careful. Don't put it in direct. Well, it was but indirect sunlight, and then between my door and my my screen storm door, and it was so hot. The board was so hot, it could burn your fingers. It, well, it felt like it burned your fingers. I don't know that it truly burned them. But the, the even the board was hot. And I had, well, I had the, the green plastic board. The green plastic flower board's what I use. So, yeah, don't put anything glued in direct sunlight, guys, because uh, it tends to go bye-bye and slide right off. That's the first one I've actually ever had do that. But I, that's why I like to hang things on my doors, because then I know exactly what they're going to do, you know, but thank you guys tonight for attending, I appreciate it, I appreciate each and every one of you, I will be back next Monday night at 6, around 6.30, depending, um, but I'll send a message out, and I'll send a, on those things I send out on the page, the reminders, it says interested, if you click that, Facebook actually sends you a message, um, a reminder 20 minutes before and 3 minutes before when I'll be on. Well, actually, in that three minutes, I'll say, well, you can, well, I think maybe you can watch at 20 minutes, but who wants to sit there that long looking at a blank screen? But at three minutes, you can watch until I come on, okay? If you hit the interested. Anyway, I'm going to go for now. You all have a wonderful, wonderful evening. This will be on replay, and it will be on Facebook in a little bit, and it will be on YouTube tomorrow. Have a great evening. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.